Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. I'm Arian and today we are going to see how to create this amazing pizza menu section for your website. We are going also to add some animation as you can see and this is really really simple. In a few minutes we are going to build this. And here we are, let's start. I'm going to click on the plus button here and then I'm going to click on this structure. Of course click on the structure and content with boxed, you can keep it like that. Uh, height, uh, I can make it fit to screen, so easier for me. And I'm going to click again on the this plus button and inner section drag and drop it here. I'm going to add also a new column by clicking in this sub column here and add a new one. And of course now I'm going to add my content in the first one here on the left. So I'm going to click again on this little plus button. I'm going to add an image and then I'm going to add some text underneath. So I'm going to uh, click again twice here, uh, heading, so I'm going to change the heading very quickly, so I'm going here another X key, I'm going to take this text here and just, you know, paste it here, for example, and style, make it uh, black, and then the typography, I usually make it pop-ins, so it's easy, and then change the size like that. And of course, we are going also to content and make it center. Great. So now I'm going to duplicate this a few times. So just right click on it, duplicate, uh, click on it again and duplicate. And this one, uh, it, it will be this text here. Oops, I'm going to change it right here. And we can change the style like a gray, for example and of course make it a little bit smaller and maybe less heavier like this let's make it 300 and then uh, the price here uh, just like that great so we made this very quickly i'm going also to change the line of this text here so by clicking on it of course style uh, we are going to change again the typography to the letter spacing to make it like this. And of course, maybe I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Like that. Great! Now we need to add our images. So select this image here and click on choose image. Of course, I'm going to add my uh, images, my pizzas. And as you can see, all my pizzas has already a little shadow. I made that by using Adobe XD. If I click on my pizza, as you can see here in the bottom right, I have drop shadow. Uh, I can add it or remove it. I will add it back again. And the settings are this one, so 12 here, 45 and the color is black with a 60% of opacity. So you can select your pizza, double click on it, Control E and you can export it in PNG. So once you've done that, you will have all your pizzas or your food with the shadow that you made. And of course, I'm going to drag and drop this on my WordPress website. Nice, I'm going to start with this one and insert media. As you can see, inserting the media, uh, the image has a really big shadow that takes all this part and that's why we have a lot of white space. To fix this, we just uh, keep this selected and go on advanced. And of course, uh, with pixels selected, you can uh, go on negative and as you can see, it's removing the space of the image like that. So we have done this and then I'm going to add an animation to it. So I'm going to style and then hover, hover animation and select rotate or whichever you want. So now if I mouse over my pizza rotates, cool, right? So now we are going to add some padding to the column to make it a little bit more uh, nicer. I'm going to click here on edit this column here and then advanced and the padding i'm going to select a percentage and just start adding some padding like this great once you have your desired padding we are going also to add some dashed uh, lines here like the design let me check the design as you can see we have two dashes here we are going to reproduce that uh, with elementor very easily so i'm going to select this column again and then go on style 
border and as you can see we have border type we can select this and make dash it and once you've done that you can of course remove the left and the top side and by uh, just you know uh, unlocking this just add bottom two pixels and on the right two pixels and as you can see we have two pixels here two pixels there and this is the final result of course it's beautiful and now we are going to duplicate this by clicking here in this column here right click and duplicate right click and duplicate and we are going to remove this one by right click and delete great and what we can do now we can duplicate this inner section by right click here and duplicate and you have your result here crazy right we did this in really no time so i'm going to remove the lines here at the bottom of those one so just go here click on the first one style border and i'm going to remove the bottom just make zero and same thing to this one style or you just can copy the style of this so cl right click on this copy paste style and paste style so now as you can see we have our our content like that and of course what we can do now is changing the the data and the images let's do it right way i'm going a little bit randomly right now so i great so this is the final result of course uh, this now works very well you can add this section to your WordPress website it's pretty cool and of course uh, we can also fix the mobile version of this so I'm going here and uh, select mobile version as you can see we have the mobile version here and on the mobile version we can actually keep only the line at the bottom and this is very very easy to do so I'm going to select the first column here for example and then going on border and of course you can change this like the bottom we have two but on the right like bottom we have two but on the right we can make zero and same thing uh, we can do with the rest so i'm going to copy this right click on this first column paste to the second column paste tile and as you can see now if i just check we have only one line delimiting the rest and if i go on desktop version we have both line so it's actually uh, going to uh, you know work only on the mobile version so i'm going to paste the style to every uh, column here So guys, now you have your mobile version too and works really fine. I will let you change the text of course and the prices and for this tutorial today that's all. So if you want to see more videos like this, of course guys, please you can like this video, subscribe to the channel and of course notification bell to be notified for new videos and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!